Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to Elder Scrolls Online. I am on the public test server. This is version 5.0.3. We are just a couple of weeks away from the early access release of Elsewhere. So I thought I'd go ahead and show you a, a couple of things. So this will take a couple of videos in which I will show you what I am finding on the public test server. So uh, today I wanted to talk about the housing for Elsewhere because that seems to be probably the easiest topic to discuss uh, prior to launch. And it won't show you very many spoilers other than how awesome these houses are. So the first thing I wanted to show you is going to be uh, the free ones. Now the first one is pretty easy. This is located in the little town of Rimen. This is the map for Elsewhere. And Rimen is right up in here. It's probably the first place you'll end up after you get here. If you're starting a new character and using the uh, new character tutorial, you'll end up very close to here and will not have a problem getting here. Uh, so, Rimen is the name of the town, and in this town, there are basically two houses, and both of them are going to be free. The first one is called the Sugar Bowl Suite. Now, with each chapter, you usually get access to one of the starter apartments, which you can get for free by talking to a lady who appears right here. Now, um, usually there's a quest, a little series of quests to do to get the keys to the room, but in this case, I just talked to a lady here and she gave me the keys to the house. So I guess I didn't have to fulfill her quest line. Now, this is just a very basic house. It's a single room. So, as you can see, it's a very, uh, very small, it's probably the smaller, one of the smaller, not the, definitely not the smallest, but one of the smaller of the starter homes. It comes with a ambient light. There is no furnishing option. Um, it is very limited in the amount of housing items you can put in here. There's... Um, I am an ESO Plus member, so, of course, whatever I have is doubled, so, um, 30 furnishings, so maybe just 15, and special furnishings, so really not too much to put in here, but it can fit a bed and a table and some other things. So, this one is for free. Now, I do like to get the free ones because um, they're an easy location to teleport to. Once you have a home, you can just use your, uh, can use your collections to go to the house that you own. So if you want to get to a main town in a completely different zone, then it's very easy to just teleport right to your little house. It doesn't cost anything, so you can do it from anywhere in any location. So this is where this house is. It's right here in the central plaza of Rimen. And um, just, just a nice little location to have. Uh, to get to Rimen quickly and to log out, maybe keep a storage box or two in there. Uh, the next free house is called the Hall of the Lunar Champion. Now this is also located just on the outskirts of Rimen or inside the walls apparently. And uh, we'll go right over there. Alright, now this is called a Hall of the Lunar Champion. It's located in a uh, special little courtyard off to the corner of this city of Rimen. And uh, 
It is acquired by completing certain achievements. So let's have a look at those achievements. All right. So for the Hall of the Lunar Champion, you will need to re complete the main quest story, the two queens. This quest also provides the first of four collectible furnishing tablets to be placed inside the Hall of Lunar Champions. So this is a very unique house. This is a house that will expand as you do some further achievements. So let's have a look. This is the, the quest to Queens. I am not doing quests on PTS, so I cannot tell you how many quests that is. Let's look in our achievement uh, list for the quests. Okay, here it is. So to find this achievement, you need to go through this quest line for Tharn's aid de comp and complete the Rage of Dragons quest in Northern Elsewhere. So there's one, two, three, and four major quests in this progression here. So that's the main quest line. And when you first come into this home, what you see just looks kind of like an old temple. It's in ruins. There's still some lights here, but there's these, uh, there are these tablets here. There's these tablet holders. There's one when you first enter the door, and then there are three other tablet holders. And in behind them are our doors. Now, right now, they're not interactable because I do not have a tablet in the stones. So, um, luckily on the PTS, I can get the home and use a couple of tablets so let's do that all right so this is only on pts that i get to do this so i can test it out so first i get the so about the house it says the khajiit of elsewhere built this awesome temple as a tribute to the legendary hero Konzari. Elsewhere's greatest champions may assume stewardship of the hall, but only the most patient and cunning will discover all of its secrets. It is awarded for completing the two queens' quest in Elsewhere. So I will take the deed. Now I have two tablets that I can play with. Behold the Lunar Champion, which is... Um, Place it on the Joan Light altar in the Hall of Lunar Champion to awaken the Lunar Reflector. Awarded for completing the Two Queens quest. So you get this also as your first tablet for completing the Two Queens quest in the major quest line. And then a second tablet is testable on the PTS. This is placed on the altar of betrayal in the hall of the lunar champion to unlock an overlook of the halls of colossus awarded for completing the heir of Aquin aquinia quest in elsewhere so another quest line in elsewhere to get this tablet so i would approach this joan light alternate each one of them have different names so that one is joan light this is the Altar of Betrayal. This is the Altar of Ambition. And this one is... This one over here is Altar of Ambition. Altar of Guile. Okay. So, let's put our first tablet up there and see what happens. To go into uh, decorating mode at F5. 
and I have something special. Let's see, there are horses, services. I have two tablets, so I want Behold the Lunar Champion. Yeah, that's what it looks like. What I want to do is put it on this altar. I have to adjust the um, angle. Put it on the altar. All right, that looks good. When it's highlighted green, you know it's usable. So I place the first tablet on and I get this amazing thing. Behold the Lunar Champion. Welcome honored guests to the Hall of the Lunar Champion. Behold the life of the laughing lion, Kunzuri. Visions of his humble origins, his grand adventures, and his tragic end at the hands of the betrayer all lie before you. Three tablets rest upon altars in this sacred chamber. Approach each with a pious, laughing heart. By the light of Joan, the text shall become manifest, allowing you to walk the path of our greatest hero. All right, so that is the first tablet. Now, as you can see, this thing will activate the doors when we put the next tablet on. So I think this one is our next one. So this is placed on the altar of betrayal. Completed, completing the heir of Aquinia quest in Ellswood. So. We'll do the same thing here. It looks like it doesn't really matter if it's perfect, but I I like for it to be a little perfect. There. Now, once the tablet's on the holder, the beam of light will shift and open the door. So let's go see what's over there. All right, so this portal takes you outside of the home, and it looks over the halls of Colossus, where we uh, kind of accidentally let loose some dragons earlier. You no, know, kind of accidentally. I don't see any dragons in the sky right now. Now, the final home that I'm going to show you is going to be one that will be in the crown store. I do not know the price because we are on PTS. And I do not know when. But this is a very special, uh, very special home as well. So let's go preview this. Okay, now... This home is located out a little ways away. This is by a way shrine called Riverhold. So there's a little town of Riverhold right here. And the home is just outside. It has its own pathway coming up. And it is a notable home, so it is very large. And beautiful at night. And very cushy. Now, I noticed that this house right now only has a furnished version that we're previewing. And so, this is it. This is furnished. I suspect this will be a very costly home. It does have, um, like a little zen garden out in the front and some a water fountain here and then another water feature over here which is more of a natural pool with a natural waterfall
and then st three sets of stairs that go up or two yeah two so this one here and that one over there and three entrances on each side of the home there's uh, the wings and then the main entrance here another zen garden in the front here and then on the side over here we just we have more of this babbling brook outdoor experience and waterfall a very beautiful and calming home so let's go inside i noticed it's called an adapt which is kind of an interesting phrase. So the two wings, we have one here that has a bedroom. And it has the furniture. Very tropical, very Kajimi, very beautiful rugs. I love the rugs. I love all of the Khajiit style furnishings and then another wing over here so as you can see more of a social area center here we go into the back and it's it's still more of an open plan with more social seating and so forth but in the back we do have sort of like it looks like an altar of some sort it's got a box and a shiny something happening in here like a bottle maybe Not quite sure so let's check it out. So basically, this is a porter portal to the plane of Joe. Now, when you step out of your back door, technically, it's just another portal to get back you can see how how awesome this is this is another plane of existence very sacred to the Khajiit so it's a big wide open courtyard with this um, like a lunar lunar cycle out here. A very special looking um, plants. There's, you can't do anything, you can't go in here. But you could probably put statues or something in here. Towers on either end of the courtyard. just amazing definitely one of the more spectacular homes that i have ever seen and you can climb on the tower once you get to the top of the tower you can actually see what's going on here i'm gonna do this very carefully because you can fall off but look at this. Absolutely incredible. It kind of looks like more of this temple on the other side of whatever the heck that is. But um, absolutely stunning. 
Uh, the other tower over there has the same view. You cannot go down there. We'll die. Now it's it's very tempting because it looks like there's a well there is. So this this part right down here, you could also uh, look at this from. Anyway, this is definitely a must-have for me, no matter the cost, I think. to have a whole plane of existence with a celestial object in the backyard. I mean, that, that is, that is special. Extremely. So that is it for the houses that I have found so far in this zone. I hope that you've appreciated the video and I look forward to making a few more videos before final release date. Take care, everybody, and have a good day. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this presentation. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, Oma Games. If you would like to see my live streams, please go to twitch.tv and follow Miss Oma. Take care everybody, and I will see you next time.